as that line moves in, we could see some severe weather. It is a low risk. It's a level one out of five risk. But as that line moves in from Alabama, that is when we could see some severe storms through the late afternoon, the biggest impact is going to be those strong damaging winds. So let's go hour by hour for the next couple of hours, mainly those light showers that we've seen off and on most of the day today. But this very heavy, incredibly heavy rain arrives around dinner time, and then it's going to stay over Metro Atlanta through most of the night into tomorrow, even at 11 PM. Again, pouring down rain right along I 85 and Metro Atlanta by 345 still raining tomorrow morning. So flooding is going to be a big issue for tomorrow morning's commute because flooding tends to happen after all of the rain has happened. And sometimes it's well after the rain has ended as all of that runoff goes into the creeks, the streams and onto the streets that just can handle any more rain. So we will be watching for flooding for tomorrow morning's commute. That rain will finally come to an end around lunchtime, and that's when we'll see those temperatures drop as we head into the afternoon. Additional rainfall through tomorrow could see as much as two to three inches, mainly north of I-20. That is where the highest totals are expected. That flood watch has been expanded. It does include Fulton County, Gwinnett County, Douglas County, Fayette County, Clayton County, basically areas along I-85 and to the northwest under a flood watch through tomorrow afternoon. So for tonight, heavy rain, some storms, temperatures mild will be in the mid 50s. Then tomorrow afternoon, temperatures will plummet. It will get cold. It will be windy. Highs tomorrow in the afternoon will be in the 40s. Good news after tomorrow, we are in the clear. We were seeing for the chance of rain this weekend. That system is going to stay out of our area, so it does look like it will be dry Saturday.